Oh, he went down. The quad, the quad. What is up people, B-Boy Man here and welcome to Uncharted 4 where we're going to do a 4 hero weapon chest opening. Let's see what we're going to do, let's get straight into this. Confirm purchase. Boss number 1, what do you hold from me? We have Alina's AK-47. Let me have a look here and see what attachments this has. Loadouts, AK-47. Alina's AK-47 has... Reload speed and silencer. That's actually that's actually could be pretty useful. Might be one to keep in the back of my mind, even though I don't use the AK-47 a lot. Box number two. Oh, one says on here. And you have race jackal. I like the jackal when I was using it um, during the trials because it was one of the guns from the preset loadouts. Have I? Yeah, I have or not the jackal? I think I have. Anyway. Oh yeah, I've unlocked everything. What am I even saying? But yeah, let's have a quick peek. See what this has got. Raised Jackal has starting ammo and clip capacity. Uh, it's all right, but what I'd really do with is oh look at Soy's Jackal, reload speed and recoil. That's gonna be powerful as shit. But yeah, on to the next one. Hero weapon chest box number three. Don't ask why I do that, boys. <laughs> so this Fossa R81. All right, all right, all right. I haven't used a Fossa much as a secondary weapon just because I feel like I do very well with the Rafka, but I know some people prefer the Fossa because it's fully automatic, and so it's the first weapon in this, but reload speed and blind fire accuracy. Anything with reload speed in my eyes is really useful, but I don't use blind fire a lot. So, I'd say it's good, but it could be better in my opinion. But obviously, you have your opinion as well. And for the last box, we will have... Wraith's Power 45. That, that was a golden gun as well. That actually looked pretty cool. Let me have a better look at this. Wraith's Power 45. Clip capacity and blind fire accuracy. Mmm... Hit capacity might actually be a good shout because with that weapon you do fire it pretty fast and then it's like brrr, done and then you have to reload so might be something to consider in fact you know what let's give some of these a try i'm gonna go with well alina's ak-47 has to go down as a long gun since as that was the only long gun that i got out of the four boxes so that will have to stay there but in terms of the short weapons i've got what was it? It was Wraith's Power 45, which was Click Capacity and Blind Fire. Solid Foster, which was Reload Speed and Blind Fire as well. And then it was, um, whose Jackal was it? Wraith's Jackal with Starting Ammo and Click Capacity. You know what? I do think I will go with Wraith's Jackal. And in terms of purchasables, I reckon for the first time, I'm going to go in without any purchasables, not even grenades or anything. So you know what? Let's find a match and see how we do with this. Okay, here's a tip. For anyone who you think is using a loadout without no purchasables at all, like not even gear or sidekicks or whatever, don't do it because you will get your ass handed to you. Especially if you're experimenting with weapons instead of using ones that you're a lot more comfortable with. But anyway. That was shit. Oh, you wanker. Oh, my charge is still up and I'm down. And dead. That went well. That went really well. <sighs> but yeah. I do you think... Do you think I, I just this guy is still alive? Yeah, it needs to give me time to get my thoughts together because I do think that the AK 47 it's not my kind of weapon, like it's just I mean, while the science is useful, I'm not the science kind of guy, as you already know. 
Can I get that over? Just about. But I think they've moved. Oh, didn't even go over anyway. Well played. Well played. Yeah, the AK-47 is not my kind of gun. And as for the Jackal, like, I like the weapon, but that doesn't mean, like, that a likeable weapon is a good weapon. And this, it's not a good weapon. It just fires too slow for Uncharted 4 speed, in my opinion. Oh. And, of course, as I say that, I managed to kill him. I was running really slow when I was trying to blind fire that guy. But then again, I don't blind fire that much, so what am I to know? <laughs> but yeah, at least I've got the second grenade going. Oh. That was a little bit tasty. Just falling into fire like that. <laughs> that accident though. Yo shit mate! You're absolutely shit mate! Sounds like he's the kind of guy that wears Burberry and sits around shops all day. Oh! I saw that coming a mile off. I need to. Okay, at least he's down. Yeah. He sounded like the. Can we fuck off with these mines, please? Wait. I could swear I just saw a guy running through. Yeah, I did. That was actually kind of a good, like, stable shot. Because normally when I'm trying to shoot this weapon, I was like, oh, shit. Because I find my shots, like, wave around a lot. I mean, I know it's an automatic weapon and everything. And that is obviously understandable. But I'm used to... I'm too used to the Metlo and the Rafka, which are just, like, so stable when you fire. Right, you know what, I will cut through this bit. It might be something that might come back to bite me in the arse, but oh well. Fuck off, Root. Surprise, oh, motherfucker. Fucking hell, man. Bloody hell, talk about surprise, motherfucker, indeed. Should we, yeah, let's get the savior one in. Hello, mate. I'm expecting you. I finally worked out how to do those jump tackles because I could never do them to save my life before. It is literally just you hold square. I thought you like had to like hold X and square for some reason. I don't know why I did. You know, I've had brighter ideas. I definitely had brighter ideas than that one. Especially seeing as I didn't even use my grenade when they were so close together. I mean, granted, they would have managed to get away from it a little bit, but it would have still done some damage. All right, save his mods. I kind of wish I had Mark and Theon so I could mark his mates with him, because I know that... Whoa! They're definitely close. But they didn't see me. You saw me. You were trying to do the takedown on me, weren't you? You just didn't get that out of your system. Is that save is still bloody alive? Wow. See, that's what I was saying with the... How do you want to call it? It's not recall, it's the... It just doesn't... You know what I mean, it doesn't stay still. And I'm too used to guns that do stay perfect. Like, not perfectly still, but close enough. I thought the guy was down. Well, at least that staff is going to go. Right. My save is still alive, though, so there's no reason to buy another one. Don't have anything else to buy as well. So all I'm going to do is just save my money. Right. You're going to drop down. Now he's still up there. Oh, now you drop down as soon as I get... Like, what is that? He's fucking 360 around me and somehow that's enough to... Get in the bin. See, all that was was blind fire. All that was is... Was... 
See, I'm not used to just blind firing like that all the time. I'd rather just, you know, just aim down my weapon and not have to rely on, you know, a little bit of luck to get me through. Because I use mainly, like, you know, semi-automatic and burst weapons, like, you know, the Matler and the Rafika. Those are my kind of guns. So it just feels weird to go about doing this all the time. And it was a case to do that, because I do have a science on, so they wouldn't be able to see that. Okay, okay, that was starting to get a little bit decent. They're gonna spot me out. See, that's what I mean. Like, I was kind of... I was pretty much over the target, but... See, the thing is with the recoil, it just goes around a little bit. Well, at least you're down, and you ain't getting. Did he just? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Oh, he is dead. Never mind. <laughs> was a little bit unsure because I did see his name down there for a second. And I was like, "Shit, you're gonna try and jump up and j just take him down." Oh, fuck off. Oh yeah, you're down. Good. What the fuck was that? I just got absolutely licked by I do not know what. Jeez. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. Can't have been that because it was our RPG. So what the hell hit me? Because I didn't even get to see on the thing. Well, this is a little bit. Where the hell have they gone? I was just, oh, they are around here. They're just moving away. I'm going to follow. And I'm going to pick my moment. Oh. Well, they're probably going to be able to see me now. So, plan B. See, look at the blind... Bruh. How much blind firing does a man want to do? Because that's all I've seen him do to me. <sighs> I'm so... I'm just not used to it. Like, coming from, like... You where you know you have to aim down your sights otherwise you're fucked. Piss off for your Elder Rado, mate. But yeah, it's just I'm not used to blind fire. But anyway, enough about blind fire because I felt like I've gone on about that enough. That was a bit of a bad shot. At least I managed to take him dodge. I might be a little bit blind. Because that was there for a little bit before I ran into that. Jesus Christ. This is definitely not one of my best plays. Well, I'm going to smack this bitch up. Oh, couple of headshots in there. Never want to miss. Have a bit of your own medicine, you motherfucker. Fucking blind firing all over the place. How well did we do? We actually did actually all right. It was be definitely better than how I thought we were doing. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here, people. Stay classy, and I will catch you later.